So what are the tools that we use? There is a lot of energetic and emotional release, simply removing the blocks that are present in our field so that we can create space for new energies to be channeled in our field. So we do that through shaking, through breath works, through uh, different singing and different practices, physical practices. We go into the river nearby over there where we scream under the waterfalls. We activate really these new channels of energy so that we can start our days from a fresh place. So you know what what we say very often it is that uh, we would be enlightened right now if there was no obstacles for the light to come into our system when we wake up as a child we are in a state of energetic and emotional freedom and then we start accumulating trauma we start accumulating emotions we start accumulating uh very often mindsets and, and triggers that stay uh, crystallized in our systems and we walk in life a little bit like a museum you know with an accumulated uh tension and an accumulated uh, set of patterns that have been uh, transmitted from the past. So what we want to do is to create freshness, to create a fresh space. And to do that, we use our power, our natural power of renewal, our power of transmutation, our power of renewal, change and transformation. And uh, the symbol for that, you know, within the, the tantric tradition is the symbol of the Trishula or the Trishul, right? You have been seen seeing this weapon before in the hands of Shiva or in the hands of Kali. And what this does, it does create inside of us a sense of energetic emotional freedom and it gives us the power to destroy, remove or transmute uh, the energies, the powers, the patterns that are stuck in our field, in our system that we might not be able to release otherwise. So by calling in that energy, we create space, energe energetic and emotional freedom.